Emperor Vindicare here. Last time, we went on our first maiden voyage in the Sea Moth. Well, out to sea, into the depths, as I've been saying so many times. We got a lot of vital resources that we need. Now we can start expanding our base and maybe even thinking about building ourselves a larger submarine for deeper expeditions. But for today, we're going to start, we're going to expand this base because we want a much cooler, more epic base. So, we've got plenty of titanium, good amount of copper ore. I've got some enameled glass here so we can build that observatory that I've been wanting. Um, oh, I do have some... I want this terraformer bioreactor. Yes, I did get some more bits when I was out there, as you saw. But now it's time to build. Let me go take a look at the base, and I'll decide what we're going to add on from there. So first order of business that I've been waiting for: observatory right there, which we need to go outside for. This thing. Oh wait, actually, no. That will end badly. We're going to build some reinforcement plates onto this thing. And this should, as you'll see, there we go, drastically increase the strength. There we go. Up to 21, yeah. So now, total plus 14, yeah, it's now 21. Now we can build relatively safely without the thing collapsing on us. Here we go. Yeah, as you saw in the first, second ep episode, nice. Cyclops, pressure, yeah. This thing looks really cool, and it's just, it's just awesome. What other parts, you don't need that big of a base, but, you know, I want a big base because it'll look absolutely cool. Absolutely badass. Uh, I need more glass. We're gonna have to go deeper for quartz. I might start that second expedition in this video just because we can't build all of that much right now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'd really like to do a glass corridor. An L glass corridor. We could do that out to here. I want it because we're going to get the moon pool next episode. We're going to try. Once we get that large sub, we're going to go get the moon pool fragments, and then we can add on to the base here. Let's see. What else can we add that's just that'll look good? What a corridor. We'll add it onto here. Nice. You can really make your bases pretty damn extensive. Oh, that's cool. It like hooks on there. An the L corridor. Uh-oh. Quickly, I'm just going to build a entryway here. Oh, we can't. Oh. A little too close there. Okay. So... I would, I would like to do glass corridors, but we just don't have the glass for that until later. I'd like to do some deep water glass bases, but oh, we can take a look at the observatory. Which is very nice, as you can see. So I'm gonna grab, you know, I'm gonna grab a little bit of quartz, and then we can add some more glass, which will look nice. So then I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed a little bit more glass, so we can make this thing look way cooler. Uh, okay, let's, we're gonna take this bit off here. Deconstruct that. And I'm going to add a T corridor here. Yeah, like this. There we go. We can have some more base type things back there. And then we'll build ourselves this glass L corridor like. Is there a better way to do this? This is fine. Right now, this isn't going to lead too much. We can have another room over here, actually. That can be the main room, and then we'll have another. Eh. This will go to here. I think I want to have the moon pool right here. Or we could... Uh, so many options. Got a T corridor we can do. All that titanium stuff is not a problem at all to build. It's just things that require glass. That's We're going to go adventure out to get some more stuff. Another room? Would that look good here? We'll just go like this. Do we want another room here? That's the thing, we, they're adding more, so we don't really need it, but, you know, we, big bases look cool. Do we want to have this? We could do an L corridor here, and then... Or we could do another T corridor. No, here. I'm going to go replenish my oxygen. So you come in, we should probably add some glass down here. Once again, no glass, it's a pain. T-quarter, this can go back to, we'll say we'll have like a canteen or something. 
This is nice because you can look out here. And then I want to have sort of like a docking thing for the Cyclops here. You can't actually dock it, but you can do like an airlock there. That will look pretty cool. Whoops. I'm going to grab some more of this. Some more of this. Everything else is all right. Sorry about that. Stop recording on accident. But we... Yeah, what we'll do... We'll do another L corridor here. This one won't be glass, but that's fine. This is like an observatory. Then here, we'll have sort of a docking bay. For, actually, no, we'll do a T-section. This is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. See, when you have infinite resources, you just can just kind of build, and it's like, wow, this looks absolutely incredible. We'll build another T-section here, and we'll have a... This is where the moon pool will go out here. We'll have a vertical connector. We could have like a room or another, a more surface docking type thing. Or actually, we could just have, let, let's just build an above ground room. Or above, above ground. Above water. One more, I think, should do it. We may have to go grab some more titanium. And yeah, these don't even take that much off the base. This will be our link to the above world. Let's see how much titanium we have left here. I'm going to grab some more titanium. Alright, yeah, this does all look pretty ridiculous right now. Once we get some more resources, it's the glass, man. The glass is what makes the bases just look freaking cool as all hell. Alright, I want to have an above ground room so we can just, like, survey everything. And the final touch. A room. Can these? I think you need a L corridor. Like so. And then we can build the room onto this. Nice. Now we're gonna need glass to make this thing like, you know, actually cool so you can like see out of it and such. That doesn't take anything there's no depth penalty for building up here though. Alright, so that's our little above ground module sort of thing there. This, I'm going to build an airlock here, and this is where we can sort of park our extra large sub that we're going to craft. Yeah, see, once we get the moon pool, which is super cool, we can dog, we can start upgrading the sea moth and going even deeper. So, I'm going to go and grab the sea moth, get it repaired, and we will start on our journey to the Grand Reef to get some more supplies and what we need or actually let's see what we need for the cyclops that we can go we can bring a ton of stuff because there's so much quartz there guys we can build all the glass stuff we want five plasteel ingots ingots okay five enameled glass two lubricant and advanced wiring kit okay Ooh, it, it's tempting it's quite a lot to build but and we kind of we kind of need it. That way, I mean, it's it's a mobile base. You can bring as much stuff as you want with you. This we'll call this room here the canteen. It's probably gonna get rid of that coral tube there, isn't it? No, it's fine. Yeah, so our base is expanding. I just we need an update so that there's like a reason to have a large base because you don't really need a large base but we'll do we'll do things like this and we'll go gather more quartz and such to so we can get it's the glass man it looks freaking sick I do like this little bubble a lot All right, let's get this thing patched up and we can at least go start scavenging for a little bit more quartz alright I got an extra battery for my sea glide and one for the sea moth which is gonna run out like literally right now and I can show you the replacing the battery on this thing let's make sure we have some height okay you literally go to the back you have one of these in your inventory there we go fresh battery I think I know a good spot to find some more quartz so it, it, at the deeper at the deeper depths depths in this game you can just find like fields of the stuff, which is awesome. I believe it's out this way. But there are a lot of sand chucks around. Oh. Oh, the majestic reef back. Also, there's these floaty things, which are 
the floaty rocks, which will fuck your craft up if you go into them. These things are cool. They're peaceful. They're... <clears throat> Sorry about that. They're absolutely massive. Listen to that. Any minute now. Uh, that one's relatively quiet, I think. I don't know why. You can hear them from a very long way away, and it sounds very cool and eerie. Especially when, you know, you're first getting into the game and you don't know what the hell that sound is. And you're like, there's something big out there. And it is big, but you don't need to worry about them killing you. At least not intentionally. Oh, come on. There's Normally there's a ton of quartz. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, this is a more empty spot. I'm gonna grab this and then we'll hop back in the sea moth and head to a more interesting location. There is a sand shark after me. Now there's two after me, so it comes at a price. Let's hop back in this. We can take a closer look at them. Where are they? Yeah, they burrow. Look at this. Bastards. They're not very sneaky though. Look at that. Maybe if they stayed still. Do have to be careful out here. If they stayed still, maybe with like a small warning, like you could see a little thing in the sand. I'd like that more because right, they're very obvious, but they'll still mess you up because they're really fast. They actually bit me a little bit. Just another one of the friendly fauna out here. Oh, there's these little things. Is that, is that thing going to attack me? It's the dealio. Can I take you? No? I want it for the tank. The grand, ta the grand tank of the empire. You're going to be able to, to uh, domesticate, I don't know if that's the right term, uh, tame, eh, make friendly some of the animals in the world. You, there's going to be like a sort of aquarium type tank, even like like a larger one for some things like the stalkers, which are the guys you see in the kelp forests. How much quartz do we have here? Good. In the kelp forest, and that'll be cool for... Seconds of oxygen remaining. Thank you for interrupting my sentence. Which will be cool for like cataloging all the different species of fish that you find. Ooh, you can get really far away while you're collecting quartz. All right, this area is about dry. We're gonna go back. To, I want to go back to that mushroom biome, pick up some more lithium. So we're gonna head over there. All right, guys. So I'm just adding some windows to our little above ground place here. Where's the aurora? How much glass do we have? Hmm. I don't want to build. I just want to be able to see a little bit of stuff. Here, we'll put it on this side. We'll put it all overlooking the aurora. Actually, no. We'll leave this one so we can see the escape pod, and this one we'll put like this, so we can look out at all of our hopes of escaping this world being crushed. Well, exploded actually. But from here, we can do things like. Put another hat. I'm just going to put a hatch here, at least for now. I'm probably going to renovate the whole base once we get some serious resource action going. Uh, we can do a glass tunnel. Where is it? Good. 4.0. I was worried it would start flooding the base. Or should, they need to add glass T seconds. Well, I guess you don't really need it. But this is where we'll have... Oh, wait. We'll put our... We'll put this thing there. And I think I've decided, instead of going right for the Cyclops, we're going to go to the Grand Reef first with our trusty Sea Moth. And with it, we're going to get the Moon Pool Fragment so that we can then upgrade the Sea Moth and go into deeper caves. Although we will get the Cyclops at some point for the massive amounts of resources that we're going to need to be transporting once we get to those deeper areas. So let me just load up and we'll get ready for our next expedition. Alright, I got a little bit of food and such. I think I'm going to call an episode for now because this excursion is going to be quite lengthy. There's going to be plenty of stuff to see along the way as well. So next time we're going to be hitting up the Grand Reef for the moon pool fragments that we need to start upgrading the sea moss so that we can go to deeper depths. Because 250, 225 meters, whatever it is, is not very deep at all. So I'll see you guys next, next time stuttering here with my absolute anticipation of exploring the vast world. There's another reef back. Sometimes they spawn in pods. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, they're circling me. Next time we face...
the fourth triumvirate of the Reef Backs. Thanks for watching, guys.